dear students today we shall discuss about some of the previous year questions asked in magnetic moment from the chapter called as magnetism and matter we shall discuss one by one now let us see here so it is given that if you take a magnet and cut horizontally and vertically what happens to the magnetic moment one thing you should remember that this is said to be area of cross section a of a magnet and you should know that constant is always directly proportional to area of cross section of a magnet if you cut the magnet along the axial line area of cross section gets divided into half it gets divided into half as the area of cross section gets divided into half constant also gets divided into half this is going to be half means this is also going to be half then what happens to magnetic moment it will also become m by 2 therefore the new magnetic moment capital m is going to become 2lm is the old magnetic moment okay so 2lm is the old magnetic moment the new magnetic moment when you cut the magnet along the axial line or horizontally is going to be m by 2 then what happens to the magnet when you cut the magnet into two pieces vertically along the equatorial line this is said to be equatorial line then what happens you know when you cut the magnet into equatorial line area of cross section is not going to change then what is going to change the length of the magnet is going to become half you know the magnetic length from here to here is imagined to be 2l when you cut the magnet in this in this direction 2l will become 2l by 2 then in this second case also i i will explain with different color this is the first case in the problem the second case of the problem is when you cut equatorially 2l is going to get divided into half so you all know so new magnetic moment m dash is going to become 2l by m or sorry 2l by 2 and previous constant is going to be same in this case also the new magnetic moment is going to become 2l m is nothing but old magnetic moment by 2 what does it mean here the meaning here is the pole strength is going to get divided into two halves here that's why magnetic moment becomes half in this case that is m by 2 and in this case magnetic moment also going to become half even though pole strength is not going to change the length of the magnet is getting divided so therefore magnetic moment is going to get half next let us go this problem this is a previous year question which was asked to the 14 2014 in the neat exam now he is going to ask you in which case of all the four arrangements the resultant magnetic moment is going to become maximum and now you know the resultant magnetic moment you know magnetic moment is a vector quantity resultant magnetic moment formula is this one with this it is understood that resultant magnetic moment depends upon the value of cos theta the one which is having maximum cos theta is going to give you a maximum resultant magnetic moment even though magnetic moments are same in all the cases whose cos theta value is going to become maximum is having maximum magnetic moment so here cos theta is 90 degrees which is zero here in this direction magnetic moment m1 in this direction m2 so cos 120 because it is in the anti parallel direction cos 180 is going to be a minus 1 the cos theta value is less than 1 or is minus 1 so here cos 30 cos 30 means root 3 by 2 okay and you know what is the value of cos 30 root 3 by 2 root 3 can be taken as 1.732 divided by 2 which is going to become 0.866 0.866 here cos 60 here cos 60 is 1 by 2 which is going to become 0.5 among all the four cases you can observe that there is the only one case which is giving you the maximum cos theta value and there is going to be a third case which is said to be cos 30 okay let us go for the next problem so in this case when a magnet which is said to be the bar magnet if you take a bar magnet and whose This is a bar magnet whose magnetic moment is m, and that magnetic moment m is taken as 2l m into 2l into m. That's it. This type of a bar magnet having north pole and south pole is bent in the form of an arc. 
when this is going to bend in the form of an arc, there is a shortcut formula. The shortcut formula is new magnetic moment for this magnet, which is taken as m dash, is 2m sin theta by 2 divided by theta in radius. That is going to be the formula here. So 2m sin theta by 2 is nothing but sin 60 by 2, which is sin 30 divided by theta in radians. So u of 60 is nothing but pi by 3. If you want to divide in radians, pi is 180, 180 by 3 is nothing but 60 here. Okay. So now, theta in radians means you are going to write pi by 3. Okay. So 2 into m, sin 30 is going to become 1 by 2 divided by pi and 3 comes to the numerator, so 3 you will get. 2, 2 gets cancelled. So what is left now here? 3m by pi is going to be your answer, that is A option. Let us go for the next problem. So in the next problem, a magnetic moment of a magnet is M is placed at right angles to the magnetic induction. If the force F is experienced by each pole in a magnet, then the length of a magnet is going to be how much? So magnetic moment is placed in a magnetic induction B and it is making how much? Length of the magnet is asking. So what is the formula you know? So torque is no, uh, going to be MB. Torque is going to be MB. Right angles is telling. So what are we going to write now? Right angles means it is going to become MB sin 90. Because what are you going to do? Here one magnet you are actually it should be along the magnetic meridian and you are turning the magnet a little bit 90 degrees. Then at that moment uh, what is the torque acting? Torque is nothing but MB sin 90. You know sin 90 is going to be 1 and force into perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance. What is the perpendicular distance? Perpendicular distance is going to become this distance which is taken as the length of the magnet. So length of the magnet. Sin 90 is going to be 1, need not write. And he's asking us to find out what is the length of a magnet. It's going to become MB by F. MB by F. Your answer is going to be the B option. Now let us see the next question. If a magnetic needle is suspended parallel to the magnetic field, okay, it is a magnetic field, it is geography north, geography south. The magnet was resting along the geography north and south. But you have just tilted the magnet to an angle of 60 degrees. Then what is the work done by you? Previously, you know, theta 1 was 0 degrees when it was along the magnetic meridian. When you tilt it to an angle uh, 60 degrees, that means theta 2 is going to become 60 degrees. And you know the formula Mb cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Cos 0 minus cos 60. Cos 0 is going to become 1. So I have written 1 here. And this is cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but cos 60. This given as cos 60. So let me write here. Cos theta is going to become cos 60 here. So W is going to become how much? Mb 1 minus 1 by 2. And that both is given as root 3 joules. So half, 1 minus half is going to become m by, mb by 2, which is equal to root 3. With this, we got directly the answer that is it will be 2 root 3. We got the value of mb. But you just see the problem here. You can just see it's going to ask you the torque. You are find out the torque here. How much torque is applied on this magnet again to come back to the alignment along the geographic meridian or magnetic meridian, whatever it will be. So it has to align itself. Then what is the torque acting on that? You know the formula for torque is nothing but mb sin theta. And here, torque tau is equal to mb into sin 30 as an angle, sorry, sin 60, the angle is 60 degrees here. mb we already got it is 2 root 3 and 60 sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2. So 2 2 gets cancelled, the answer for torque is 3. Newton meter. Okay. Uh, the torque needed to maintain the needle in the position will be how much? It is going to be 3. 3 joules. Okay. Hope you have understood this one. Thank you.